وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وإذ قال ربك للملائكة إني جاعل في الأرض خليفة uh, إن شاء الله تعالى we will be continuing from uh, what we left uh, yesterday last night uh, خليفة الله في الأرض and uh, I stopped from the question who is the Khalifa and uh, very briefly again Khalifa as Allah the Almighty stated in Surah Al-Ahzab in the second last ayah inna aradna al-amanata ala samawati wal ardi wal jibal فأبينا أن يحملها وأشفقنا منها وحملها الإنسان إنه كان ظلوما جهولا We have given this خلافة, this أمانة, this trust and uh, to the heavens, to the earth, to the mountains all of them they got scared and they couldn't carry it but the human, he accepted the amana, the khilafa. And human, he has two qualities which made him really uh, worse among the creation. Very much oppressing. Not zalim, zaloom. And uh, not jahil, jahul very much ignorant. So Khilafa is the trust, the amana, the ultimate choice, the freedom of will, willpower which we have from Allah. The power of whatever we want to do in this life. Uh, we have that power from Allah, given from Allah to us. Sit down. And uh, then we move on and we see that Allah the Almighty has given to Adam the knowledge while he has given to the angels same knowledge. عَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا ثُمَّ عَرَضَهُمْ عَلَى الْمَلَائِكَةَ then ask the angels, Ambi'uni bi asma'i ha'ula. Now tell me the knowledge which I have given to Adam. Now you tell me too. What they said? Subhanak. Glory be to you. La ilma lana illa ma'allamtana. Innaka anta al-alim al-hakim. We don't know this type of knowledge. The knowledge we know is dhikr, tasbih. What you have taught us the commands you give to us. Do this, do not do that. لَا يَعَصُونَ اللَّهَ مَا أَمَرَهُمْ يَفْعَلُونَ مَا يُؤْمَرُونَ We know that much knowledge. The instructions, the command, O oh Allah, O oh Almighty, you commanded us with. We know that much knowledge. Now Adam was given the priority upon angels with knowledge, number one, and number two, Khalifa Allah. Number three, uh, as Allah the Almighty said in another place, "Wa nafaktu fihi min ruhi, faqaulahu sajidin." Once I am going to put in him my ruh. So this is the third thing. Then bow down to him. So Karama, Khalifa, I have no words. Where is Karama, Sheikh? <laughs> ah, that is Khilafa. That is the Khilafa. We are Ashraful Makhluqat, the most honorable among the creation because we are Khalifat Allah. 
One more uh, quickly here in the same ayat. Adam alayhi salatu wasalam and Hawa, both of them, they disobeyed Allah. In the same place, Iblis also disobeyed Allah. My question, why Adam was forgiven and turned into Khalifa, while Iblis was rejected and turned into a shaitan, a rajim, a cursed? And remember, the instructions, the command given to Adam was more strict or to Iblis was more strict? Adam. To Adam. To Adam was a command of La taqraba, do not get closer. Which is really strict command. When you ask someone, do not do this. It's a severe, a, a strict command. And while Iblis happened to be there with angels and he was not even among the angels, as we know. He was one of jinn, but being or happened to be in the heaven. And the command of Allah was to angel, قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةَ And uh, this uh, poor creation uh, uh, was there. <laughs> now why he went down and turn into Iblis, into Shaitan, into Rajim, while Adam turned into Khalifa Allah, Ashraf al Makhluqat. Very quickly, but because this is very important point we need to pay attention upon, it helps us in our lives. Two things the sin of Iblis was out of jealousy, was out of hatred was out of takabbur, aba was takbar, out of pride, arrogance. While sin of Adam was lam najid lahu azma, weak willpower. <laughs> and then Iblis, he became more arrogant, start giving excuses. He did not ask forgiveness. He did not repent. While Adam and Hawa, they start asking forgiveness. They start crying. They regret. Here, a uh, very important point, more than the previous one. We find in Torah, we find in Gospel, in Injil, uh, um, that uh, Hawa, our mother, she was the cause for Adam to get him out of Jannah. She was the, na'udhu <laughs> billah, we find it in Bible, in Torah. She was the one who went to Adam and whispered to him and uh, let him eat from the tree, uh, apple tree, whatever they call it. Is it true? No. And it is clear, crystal clear in Quran. Azallahuma shaytanu anha The ayat we are going through in Surah Al-Baqarah, ayah number 37. Azallahuma. This is a form of muthanna, a dual form. A tathniya, which is in Arabic. Both of them, shaytan misled. Akhrajahuma. Uh, Shaitan expelled both of them mimma kana fi. In Surah Al-A'raf, even more clear. Waswasa lahu shaitan. Shaitan was the one who whispered to both of them. Now, son, uh, next time when someone is in front of you, you don't pray. Okay? You pray at a different place. Barakallah fi. Qasamahuma. He has sworn to both of them. Clear? So Allah the Almighty is clarifying 
that Hawa Eve alayhi salam has nothing to do with what they blamed her with in Torah, in Injil. Another big misconception, again in Torah and Injil. And uh, unfortunately, we also uh, involved in it, and especially today's Muslim, that we are here in dunya out of that mistake, mistake of Adam. Yes? No? Okay. Why we are here in dunya? Uh -huh. Ya Shaykhi, Ya Allah. <laughs> How come I bear the sin of Adam? La ilaha illallah. How come I could bear a sin of someone else? Does it make sense? Or not? Because I would be the first one to say, Oh Allah, I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> and that's what they claim. And listen to this carefully. Christianity, the whole Christianity, based on this concept. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. That Adam's sin was not forgiven by God. Their God. Because I'm quoting here Bible. Because the picture of God, they are picturing is really horrible. Wal-Ayyadu Adam, according to Bible, I'm quoting it, was crying for days, for nights, and Hawa, for forgiveness, for repentance. God did not forgive them. La ilaha illallah. Not just that, he convert their sin to the generation, one after another, after another, until Jesus came with his blood. He has forgiven all the humanity. This is a concept of Christianity and Bible. It is not the concept of Islam. What is the concept of Islam? In the same surah, we are going through ayah number 37. تَلَقَّى آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِيمَاتِ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ This is very important concept and I want you to pay attention on. Adam alayhi salatu was salam received words from his Lord and Allah the Almighty accepted his tawbah. Once Allah accepts a tawbah, would he punish his out of? Ya Allah. So how come? <laughs> and what were those words? Quickly please. Rabbana zalamna anfusana wa illam taghfir lana wa tarhamna lanakunanna min al khasir. Beautiful, amazing words taught by Allah which they repeated and Allah the Almighty accepted the tawbah. More than this, when Allah the Almighty sent us to the earth, sent Adam and Hawa to earth and gave them khilafah, elevate their rank. You elevate a rank of someone out of punishment? La ilaha illallah. You elevate a rank of someone? <laughs> Subhanallah, we don't pay attention on these important factors. Let's move on. And this is even more important uh, topics about Bani Israel. Because Shaytan and Iblis turn into Iblis. Why? Did he deny God? No. Yes or no? No. What he did? He denied the command of God. Because in Quran, he is addressing God, Ya Rabbi, Rabbi, my Lord. So he's not denying Allah. He denied the command of Allah. He become ungrateful to Allah. And the same, Ya Bani Israel, from ayah number 40 and onward. 
وَأَنِّي فَضَّلْتُكُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ Don't turn into the shoes of Iblis. Remember my blessings, which I blessed you with. Remember I gave you the leadership of the whole world. Subhanallah. Now Allah the Almighty, even though addressing Bani Israel, but addressing Bani Israel and the ayah quoted where? This is ayah number 40 in uh, what surah? Baqarah? What book? Quran. Quran. <laughs> Revealed to whom? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and to Muslims. So this is a mirror to Muslims. Indirect address to us. Wake up. This mirror shown to us. Don't turn into the shoes of Bani Israel, you too. These are the sicknesses Bani Israel went through. And I'm going to mention only few. I cannot count all of it. Which is mentioned in Quran. Because of the shortage of time. So I'll go quickly through few. Number one, uh, the story of Baqarah. What is the story of Baqarah? I'll go through the ayat. Huh. قَالَ مُوسَى لِقَوْمِهِ When Musa asked his people, and remember Musa is one of the top, among the top rank uh, of messengers, five uh, most high uh, ranking. Who are the five? Please help me out quickly. Uh, let's come with the history-wise. Nuh, Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhim wa sallam ajma'een. So Sayyidina Musa asked his people, Inna Allah ya'murukum. Listen to the words. Indeed Allah the Almighty asking you, commanding you, an tathbahu baqarah, that you slaughter a cow. What they replied with, qalu, they said, I'm Translating word to word. Are you making fun of us? They are talking to who? Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. They know that we are talking to who? Yes. Subhanallah. Amazing. Are you making fun of us? And remember Musa was a person with temper. He's the same one when angel of death came to him as goes in Bukhari asking him can I take your life what he did punched him <laughs> how dare you wa alaykum as wa rahmatullah but here what he did to his people because he was commanded to be patient with his people qala a'udhu billahi an akuna min al jahilin I seek refuge of Allah to be among the ignorant. I'm telling you, Inna Allah ya'murukum. Allah commanding you. Qalu da'u lana rabbak. Yubayyil lana mahi. And see their humiliating style. Qalu, they said, Ud'u lana rabbak. Ud'u, you call. Lana, for us, Rabbak, your Lord. Cannot be more humiliating than this. And Allah the Almighty is, is quoting their style. Wa alaykum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. fikum. Here I have to... Uh, remind my brothers uh, because this is important uh, when you enter and there is a dars or a, we are understanding ilm or Quran you enter quietly barakallah fikum and you sit and you learn jazakumullah khair um, and you say salam very quietly jazakumullah khair al-jazak shakarallah lakum Uh, because now you, Shaykhi, uh, really <laughs> took all the <laughs> thoughts from my mind. 
yubayyil lana ma hi tell us and describe to us uh, how it looks alike qala and sayyidna musa 